Hi, Libra. So I'm going to get right into the reading. Let's see. How was, like, what oracle, what intuitive oracle that my Libra should know just starting off? Boom. So we got here, my Libra, the justice coming out. Things are about to go in your favor. You may not, you know, you may have these thoughts that can go very good, very up and down. You know how us Libras is and decisive. Um, but we, we come back very strong, okay? With the passionate energy here, I feel like the universe wants you to use passion. Wow, this is so much confirmation for me. I see here spirit guide and animals. Um, if you have a pet, like I said yesterday, or you could be seeing pets, I feel like that's very significant. Um, I feel like your spirit guides, ancestors is reaching you through telepathic communication, even animals, even people. Okay, you could just be seeing a lot, learning a lot. But yes, I definitely gained a new spirit guide. But with spirit guide coming out with justice and passion, I feel like our ancestors wants us to step into our power because things are going to balance out. Yeah, wow, I see here psychic ability. So my Libras, if you've been feeling like you got psychic abilities or you know what's up, trust me, you're not wrong. Don't store away from your intuition. Use your discernment. So let's get into it. What is my Libra's current energy? What is my Libra's current energy? Okay, I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. The death to a rebirth. So definitely, uh, this is so resonating because I actually had a death. But actually, I have went through a big transformation, a big awakening. I feel like, my Libras, you went through a big revelation. And you figured out some things. And you know that you're about to take some steps to move forward here. With the Queen of Pentacles, I see my Libras being providers to others. Being nurturing. Being very caring. Going hard, okay, for what they believe in. Saving the world, saving ourselves, saving our soul. I see the high priestess here, my Libras. Definitely my divine feminine Libras and divine masculine Libras. High priest, high priestess. I'm feeling like you know that you're the sacred one. Okay. The initials J, B, A, D could be significant here as well. But what I'm getting here is that you're highly intuitive, my Libras. Yep. I see here with the strength in the world coming out, I feel like the universe overall, our advice is for us to continue to have that willpower, determination, go forward on our goals. Also with the world, it's time for my Libras to travel, okay? It's time for us to get out, see some new things. You know we like different, unique things. What is Libra's person energy? What is Libra's person's energy? Let's leave this person in the Okay, I'm seeing here the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups. So I feel like this person is very curious. The Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, this person could be bitter, miserable at your success, your growth. Yep, with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of my deck. Us Libras is trying to go with the flow as best as we can, you know, being, I mean, what am I talking about? Like my throat chakra and my words is not coming out. So someone don't want me to get this message, but we are doing more than the best than we can. Okay. We are being emotionally balanced in the most hardest times. I just saw three, three, three. So start off angel number three, three, three. Okay. Definitely surrounded by miracles, angels, self-expression here, but I see here a lot of my Libras, you could have a pet or you could be seeing little bitty dogs or something. I just feel like you're getting messages from black cats, different animals as well. And I see here with the Queen of Cups with her holding her own cup of light. You're staying in that, that energy of light, okay? You want to manifest here. I see this person was being in the Seven of Swords, very sneaky energy. With the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups coming out, I feel like this person knows that your new love is about to be a divine love, divine bliss here. With the Ten of Swords, I feel like this person have a lot of mental constraints, some tension, some diversity built up in them. What is Libra advice moving forward from their person? What is Libra advice? I see the Four of Swords getting some rest, taking a break, leaving this situation alone. Okay, cutting this situation out. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. So what I'm getting from this is that it's time for you to show yourself that self-love and know your worth, Libra. Okay, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Libra, with the sun coming out and the Four of Cups. I feel like the universe wants to bring you this prosperity, abundance, limitless opportunities, um, limitless potential here with the Four of Cups coming out. It's time for you to go into meditation, 
do a lot of peace, do a lot of cleansing rituals as well. Um, pray a lot. First of all, that's first and foremost. Pray a lot, even wherever you at, you know, and, you know, rituals and all that stuff that people do is good. But I would say if you're out, you feel nervous, you feel anyway, just just pray. Um, try to release that feeling as you're praying and, and see where that gets you, because I feel like the more I have been praying the more, because sometimes we forget to pray, but the more I have been praying, the more that things are, you know, I'm getting the clarity. And us, us Libras, we love clarity. We need closure. We need that clarity. Um, sometimes we don't get that closure and clarity, and it can drive us Libras crazy, you know. But I see here the four of wands, the three of wands. I feel like your ships is coming in. And this person tried to block you from this family, new home, from this person, from this child, this new life, this new potential, but they can't block you here because what? I just saw five, five, five. It's about to be a big change transition. Your ancestors, loved ones, God divine is bringing in this change transition here with the queen of pentacles. It's time for you to be that queen, king of pentacles for you to meet that king. Okay. Yep, I'm seeing her, the justice, the ace of wands, whatever you're manifesting, it's about to come into fruition. And it's about to go in your favor here. Let's get into my deck. What should my Libras know? Okay, so I see here, you're focused on your money. What should my Libras know? Okay, I feel like someone was playing innocent here. But... There could have been a karmic partner to your partner, divine masculine, divine feminine, take it as a resonate, my Libra, um, that encourages him to take days off the work, encourages her to not go to work. So I feel like, my Libras, your partner is being targeted by, by all succubus, incubus energy, people that want to suck and drain their energy. Yeah, I see here, this person denied their feelings for you, Libra. They really have strong feelings for you. Yeah, I see here, sacred chakra. So it's definitely time for us to heal that sacral chakra. I see here element water, okay, um, emotions, desire, creativity. Also, a water sign could be in their feelings about you. But I'm seeing here a sac the sacral chakra is definitely time for you to, you know, you're in this emotional state. You have an orange aura right now, my Libras, okay? The spring is coming up. I see here, yeah, stay away from any toxicity or arguments. Someone always wants you in a five of wands, conflict, confusion, chaos, but I feel like you now realize that this person was wearing a false mask here as well. Someone is gathering the courage to come towards you, okay? And they want some sexual healing. But I feel like they're going to um, confess to you that it was a motherly influence that didn't want you guys together. So that's why they took a step back. What else should my leave this name? Yeah, I feel like a new love is about to come forward as well and connect with you. Someone also wants to reconnect with you and be happy as well. Yeah, I feel like your divine counterpart is taking their time to think. They're doing a whole lot of thinking here. Yeah, I feel like your soulmate is about to get ready and come in here. I feel like you definitely was dealing with a twin flame situation here. You and your person could have even looked the light, acted a light sometime, but you felt their energy being drained and turning into a toxic energy as the time went on. And sometimes narcissists can hide their narcissism for a long time until the very end. And I see that you 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 saw that. Yeah, I see here someone was in this victim mentality, okay? Having this victim situation here. Yep, I'm seeing here this person is just pretending like they don't care, Libra, but they do. They also wanted to misinterpret everything you ever told them. And now the universe is telling them that if they don't take a different approach, they're never going to hear from you again. Yeah, I see here I like what you're doing to me and I can't explain it, so... People like what you're doing, Libras. Keep going. They can't explain why they hate on you. They can't explain why they love you. Yeah, but someone do want to see you and come forward here. Yeah, someone also used sex magic on your person. And they don't understand why your person still wants you. Your person still smell your scent, your body, your perfume, or something like that here. But now they realize with the bad advice in the reverse, they realize that bad advice didn't get them any good seeds. Okay? Anything good came from that? Yeah, I feel like they received bad advice from a karmic or a friend, and they know that your kids will be beautiful. But you have new partnerships in the way, okay? You have new partnerships on the way. This person wanted to be in the way of your goals with the new venture. Full energy. Take that leap of faith. 
This person wanted to keep you stagnant. Someone wanted to do some black magic to keep you stagnant, to keep you away from your purpose. Yes, I feel like this, this person made many mistakes in the past life as well. But this person decided to choose bad choices causing chaos. And now God, Holy Spirit, your ancestors, past loved ones, watches over you and seeing this situation closely. So beautiful energy with that being the last car. I'm getting overall, you have nothing to worry about, Libras. I see here, boom, unexpected income pathway so with unexpected income and pathway for my libras i'm feeling like you don't even know once you take this leap of faith that you're about to come into the biggest blessings of all yeah i'm telling you we we are walking by faith this year libras yep it's about to be a big change what did i say at five 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 yep with the house so if you were thinking about receiving a new house situation new life new environment that's about to come into play here. Once you go on that pathway, take that journey. Uh, stay out of stag stagnant energy. Someone wanted to keep you there. Okay. Let's get a monology card for my Libras. The universe wants you to hold your vision. I just saw 11-11. Boom. Hold your vision. Yeah, hold your vision. A new romantic cycle is beginning, Libra. Yep, new moon in Libra. The, the scales are being balanced. Be bold and make the first move on your goals, okay? And the universe wants you, wants to ask you, what do you need to release? And the last thing, if you have been, you know, um, any negative thoughts, I see here, get rid of that because confidence is your key to success, period. And I feel like a Leo, Airy, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, see you being extremely confident, okay? So we're going to get into the read. Also... Um, we're going to close out. I'm talking about getting to the reading. <laughs> like my Libras want me to keep going, period. Um, also I'm seeing here, remember to take care of yourself. Don't let someone, I'm seeing here, please have my baby in STI. Don't let someone come in trying to have a baby with you because they hygiene or their blood isn't all the way good is what it's saying here. So do not mix your royal blood or royal oats with that situation. Just continue to take care of yourself. Let's get a love oracle. Okay, let's also see the signs that could be coming towards my Libras this week, Holy Spirit ancestors. What are the signs that can be coming towards my Libras? Uh-oh, I'm seeing here Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus could be coming towards you this week to communicate. What is the love oracle for my Libras? Okay, I see here children is highly expected. If you wanted children or your person was dealing with children, that's why a lot of things is going on. I feel like the focus is more on the children right now or healing your inner child here, childhood wounds. Yes, I see here free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life and chemistry. Someone feels like with you, there is a strong magnetic attraction. You are a strong magnetic attraction. So beautiful energy. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. My Libras hit me up anytime for a personal read. Bye.